Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture number three of the course CAD CAM. This is Mr. Suyok Padil, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Edrao, Itzal Karanji. Today we are going to discuss the geometric modeling in the CAD. So before discussing this geometric modeling, first of all modeling. What is mean by then modeling? Modeling means it is the creating symbolic models of a, of the physical world has long been a goal of mathematicians scientists engineers etc symbolic representation of these physical entities is nothing but the modeling so geometric modeling can be defined as it is a computer friendly and mathematical representation of the geometry if these two that means this computer friendly and mathematical representation both fulfilled in any definition then and then only we can say it's a geometric modeling only mathematical representation of the geometry or only visual representation of the geometry is not enough then this geometric modeling is the computer aided design and manipulation of this geometric objects also in CAD geometric modeling is concerned with the computer compatibility compatible mathematical description of the geometry of an object so that means this geometric modeling is concerned with this computer compatible and mathematical description of the geometry. Again, this mathematical description allows the image of an object to be displayed and manipulated on a graphic terminal through signals from the system. So therefore, this math mathematical description of this object or image as well as its geometrical representation is uh, both are required in this geometric modeling then and then only, only we can say it's a geometric modeling of the object then few techniques of this geometric modeling so 2d projections or 2d drawings okay so here we can see uh, this is the the object which is drawn by using a 2d modeling software like autocad okay so 2d drawings 2d projections we can plot then some solid models are available the solid models are constructive solid geometry and it describes an object as a solid okay so solid modeling is some of the solid modeling softwares are advanced solid modeling softwares are available nowadays okay then wireframe models are also there so wireframe models describes an object using boundary lines only so here we can see these are the boundary surfaces okay boundary lines are uh, by using these boundary lines this object is defined in three dimensions okay so again surface models okay surface models means this object is modeled here we can see here this object is modeled by using small surfaces okay and this it describes an object using boundary surfaces these boundary surfaces are used to define this object in preform curved or sculpture surfaces are also used to describe this kind of this surface models okay so these are the three modeling techniques solid models wireframe model and surface models we will see in detail one by one so first of all wireframe modeling wireframe modeling means or again we can say it is autocad drawings so in this wireframe modeling the word wireframe is related to the fact that one may imagine a wire that is bent to follow the object edges to generate a model here we can see so this object is prepared this cubical object is prepared with the help of this wire edges only okay so this kind of this technology wireframe modeling technology was developed in 1960 and referred to as a stick figure okay or again we can say it, it, it can be referred as a edge representation because in this kind of this modeling wireframe modeling this edges are only used to represent this model okay we will get clear understanding here these edges are used to represent this cubical model okay then again this model consists entirely of point lines arcs and circles okay so in this model we can uh, see 
the lines are used here then curves are used here okay points are used to represent this model okay again this is also one of the example of this wireframe model again in wireframe model the internally there won't be any mass or volume okay so we can see here it's it's completely hollow okay only frames are used to represent this model so there won't be any internal mass or any internal volume okay so analysis can't be performed in this wireframe model because of this absence of this mass volume or any parameters we can say uh, we cannot calculate determine this so this analysis is uh, can't be performed also mass moment of inertia calculations are also not possible with the help of this wireframe models okay so this is one of the drawback of this wireframe model then we will see few advantages and disadvantages of this wireframe model. this wireframe model is a very simple to construct okay uh, by using 2d and 3d modeling software uh, software packages we can construct this wireframe models very easily it is very simple then it does not require as much as computer time and memory as does it requires in surface and solid modeling so it is very less time consuming and very less uh, memory it requires very less memory as compared to the surface modeling and solid modeling then as a natural extension of the dra drafting it does not require extension training to the users so it is just drafting tool so it doesn't require additional training to the users so this is also one of the benefit of this wireframe modeling then from the basis of basis for surface modeling as most surface algorithms requires wireframe entities such as point lines curves are the some entities wireframe entities are mostly used in this surface modeling so this is also one of the benefit then few disadvantages are also there the input time is substantial and it increases rapidly with the complexity of the object okay so time required to initial time required to to draw this or use this wireframe modeling is higher and this time required to model this in model and entity increases rapidly when the or the complexity of the object is increases so this is also drawback then both topological and geometric data are needed uh, to be user input then while in case of this solid modeling it requires only input geometrical data only but in case of this wireframe modeling both topological and geometrical data are needed then volume and mass properties then again we can see nc tool path generation cross sectioning of the object interference of this object cannot be calculated or this path generation cross sectioning of the object is not possible with this wireframe modeling okay this is also one of the drawback of this wireframe modeling then next modeling is surface modeling a surface model is a set of faces we can say here so this is the one of the face second third fourth five okay likewise by using set of the faces this object is prepared i can see here a cubical object is prepared polygonal surface representation of this cubical object is prepared with the help of this surfaces or again here in this figure or in this image we can see this is prepared with the help of small small surfaces okay so number of set of small surfaces are used to represent this model okay surface model then again a surface model consists of wireframe entities that form the basis to create a surface entities that means for example points line curves are the wireframe entities that are used to produce this surface that are used to generate this surface and these surfaces are used to prepare final model then again this surface modeling is used to separate used to be separated shape model are now 
uh, incorporated into solid models okay this for a, uh, we can see here this surface model is finally incorporated into solid models then this type of this modeling is a most often type of the model used nowadays it is used a most often type of the model okay surface modeling then again in general this wireframe model can be extracted from a surface model by deleting or blanking all the surface entities or again we can say this wireframe model can be prepared or generated from this surface modeling by extracting these surfaces here okay extracting these external surfaces of a model then design and representation of a complex object shape such as car sheep airplane bodies can be produced by this surface modeling okay this surface modeling technique is used in such applications in complex shape applications like car ship and aeroplane bodies so this type of the technology is used then some of the examples of this surface modeling surface model defines only the geometry not not the topology here we can see this is the example of the surface modeling or here it is also shown then shading is possible with the help of this surface modeling it is not possible in the wireframe modeling then two of the advantages and disadvantages are also there then it is less ambiguous surface modeling is less ambiguous it provides hidden line and surface algorithms to add realism to the uh, to the displayed geometry we can say the surfaces are used to define this boundary of this object or model so it adds some realism to the object or geometry that we define or that we de design it here then it supports the volume and mass calculation finite element modeling nc path generation cross sectioning or, or intersection of the geometry is possible with in in the surface modeling then disadvantages it requires more training and mathematical background of the users okay because of as it is used by various number of entities like uh, curves okay so some mathematical representation is also required here and it requires more training to the users then the surface modeling requires more cpu time and memory also as compared to the wireframe modeling and it is awkward to construct this mod modeling is awkward to construct compared to the wireframe modeling so these are the few disadvantages of the surface modeling now solid modeling solid modeling technique is a based upon the half space concept so in geometry a half space is either of the two parts into which a plane divides the three dimensional euclidean space so this half space concept is used in this solid modeling so we can see here an example of this solid modeling object so this object is defined by the volume space con volume space contained within the defined boundary of the object that means in this solid modeling this volume is contained by this boundary surfaces then again in general speaking this closed boundary is needed in case of this solid modeling or to define this object in solid modeling closed boundary surfaces are required then again this solid model improves the quality of the design okay then it improves the visualization and has a potential for functional automation and integration okay that means this visualization can be improved with the help of this solid modeling then it improves the quality of the design as well as so this is one of the again benefit of this solid modeling then why so this solid modeling is required instead of this wireframe model and surface model why this solid modeling is required so again from the volume concept conceptual and from the boundary information again it is required because of this weight or volume calculation centroid calculation moment of inertia calculation all it is possible with the in this solid modeling uh, and this is not possible in the wireframe modeling so therefore to calculate all these parameters then again in stress analysis and heat conduction calculations or system dynamic analysis of any system this computer in computer aided design so we should analyze this design model so therefore while this analyzing these parameters 
this solid modeling is required Com uh, wireframe model is or model is not used here then again from uh, boundary information per perspective generation of the cnc codes that that is path generation then uh, in robotic and assembly simulation also this solid modeling is required this assembly and simulation is not possible with this wireframe model so solid modeling is required so this is the why the solid modeling is required in CAD. now we will see one example here so here as we studied previously the equations of lines curves address etc it is the mathematical representation the equation of the line or curve represents the mathematical representation and when we plot a line or curve on a computer software it also not the geometric model but when these both are integratively expressed then it is called as geometric modeling so let us see so here equations are shown that is x is equals to r sin theta y is equals to r cos theta and z is equals to h so when we give some values to these three variables that means in these three equations three variables are there that is r theta and this h three variables are there okay so when we give some values to these variables okay so we will get different entities or different models so we will see how we get different models from these three equations in this equation so when we give some values to these three variables that is r is equals to 10 theta is equals to pi and h is equals to 25 h is equals to 25 theta is equals to pi and r is equals to 10 when we give some values assign some values to these three variables so we will get x is equals to something here that is 10 sine of pi y is equals to something and z is equals to h is equals to 25 already it is given okay so therefore we will get the value of x we will get the value of y and we will get the value of z that is so that means when we give some values assign some values to these all variables so we will get a point having a coordinates x y and z okay we will, we will get one single point but when we vary one of the parameter say it is theta okay this theta when we vary this theta from minus pi to pi by keeping other two parameters that is r and h constant so when we vary this vary this theta from minus pi to pi so we will get a circle okay that means a radius of 10 and we are getting different values okay different values for theta that is minus pi to pi and h height of this again it is constant okay so therefore we, we will get a circle here but when i vary more one more parameter say theta and h as h is varying from 0 to 25 and theta is varying from minus pi to pi by keeping the radius r is constant it would be a cylinder so that means so we will get a cir circle here when we vary theta only and when we vary h as well as height as also so we are providing some height here so therefore this circle along with certain height here and so this will get a cylinder we will get a circle here okay and again by providing certain height here so we will get here a cylinder okay likewise here we go, we can get a we will get we would get a cylinder when we vary this theta and h h is 0 to 25 now if i vary this r and theta okay if i vary this r radius and theta okay by keeping this h as constant okay so when i vary this r from 0 to 10 theta is from minus pi to pi by keeping this h as a constant so we will we would get a disk circular disk having something thickness some value okay 
that is from 0 to 10 mm thickness so we would get a disc here similarly if i vary all three parameters that is r theta and h when i vary when i will vary this r 0 to 10 theta minus pi to pi and h from 0 to 25 so we will get a solid cylinder previously we seen it is a, it's a cylinder but when we vary all these three parameters r theta and h 0 to 10 so then we will get a complete solid cylinder okay solid entity solid model we got here similarly when i vary this r from 5 to 10 that when when i vary this r 0 to 10 i would get this solid cylinder if i vary this r 5 to 10 it it would be a hollow cylinder it's so in this way we can see when we vary unknown parameters from these equations so we will get different entities that is first of in the first case here we got a point having some coordinates x y z then here we got a circle here we got a cylinder here okay then here a disc solid disc and solid cylinder we got by varying all these three parameters and similarly here hello cylinder we got hello cylinder so from wireframe modeling to solid modeling we can move or we can see how it is modeling is uh, possible with the help of this variations or in the parameters of these equations new challenges to this geometric modeling what are the challenges in this geometric modeling so this porous mod medium modeling with this porous mod medium is a challenging task nowadays okay then in biomedical applications here we can see in this biomedical applications this geometric modeling is very much essential now it's a very uh, challenging task in front of us then modeling non homogeneous homogeneous material modeling with the non homogeneous material is again a challenging task because of this varying density then changing composition of the material in case of this non homogeneous materials then multiple phases solid phase liquid phase again this is very uh, challenging task in modeling geometric modeling thank you thank you so much